Viewer discretion is advised. In the case of containment breach, Site 100's nuclear device is to be detonated, followed by lockdown of all Foundation facilities and activation of Protocol 2845XK1. Strike down the moon. Hello everybody, I'm the Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Keter Class Object SCP-2845. SCP-2845, also known as the Deer, is quadruped entity, measuring 2.9 meters in height and weighs around 815 kilograms. It appears to have a sinuous neck, while his head appears to have humanoid facial features. 2845 possesses large antlers, measuring 4.8 meters across. Its antlers are white, with black marbling in coloration, and have not been observed to shed. 2845 is covered in hair, with an average length of 10 centimeters, while the face is totally hairless. 2845's coloration is primarily a pastel green, with a stripe of cream on the underside of the neck and belly. On the skull of 2845, it appears that he has a ring of ice suspended behind it that measures 15 centimeters and 1.7 meters in diameter. This ring is interrupted at regular intervals by seven spheres, consisting of metallic hydrogen and metallic helium. Both the ring and spheres are constantly rotating clockwise. SCP-2845 is capable of instantaneous transmutation and reconstruction of any matter in sight. No matter is created or destroyed during this process. Transmuted matter will remain stable despite the lack of other factors. 2845 will typically surround itself with a transmuted area with a radius of approximately 5 meters at all times. 2845 has proven itself completely resistant to physical damage. The most common forms of offensive transmutation used by 2845 are a column measuring 5 to 7 meters in diameter and 60 to 80 meters in height or a horizontal cone measuring between 100 and 150 meters in length and 10 to 30 meters in width at the furthest end. However, 2845 has been observed to attack single targets at distances of up to 10 kilometers. Early observation of 2845 during recovery indicated that it will generally ignore non-combatants, focusing on retaliation against attackers. However, 2845 was not seen to make any attempts to spare non-combatants within the area of effect of its transmutations, and later recovery accounts indicate preemptive attacks against both military and civilian targets. The individuals modified by 2845 are hereafter referred to as SCP-2845-1. Instances of 2845-1 are hexagonal columns measuring 2.4 meters in height with rubbery yellow-green skin. 2845-1 instances do not have any outward sense organs. An autopsy has shown that internal organs are likewise absent, but the brain takes up the entirety of the column and contains the reconstituted mass of the other organs and some additional outside materials. It is unknown how 2845-1 instances derive nutrients or if any nutrition is required. Neuroimaging of SCP-2845-1 specimens has revealed that the brain is in a constant state of high activity. Analysis of multiple specimens indicates that this is the patterns of call and response, assumed to be some form of remote communication between 2845-1 instances. On November 27, 2011, a comet was discovered in space. Two weeks after the initial discovery, the comet reached perihelion. Solar Dynamics Observatory records images of a fragment breaking off from the main body of the comet. This fragment trajectory confirmed to end in collision with Earth, hence public announcement and evacuations commenced. On December 21, 2011, the fragment lands on the Pacific Ocean, 124 kilometers off the western American coast. SCP-2845 believed to reach shore on the 24th of December. The entity was first observed through civilians' video footage on the Christmas Day of 2011. Drone contact made. 2845 confirmed as hostile. Foundation assets within United States military begin direction of recovery and containment procedures. Foundation containment sites in the region enter lockdown. 
On the 26th to 29th of December, artillery bombardment of 2845 commences, along with initial battery of tests. Contact with outside containment consultants made at this time upon observation of 2845's properties. On December 30th, 2845 was unimpeded for 16 hours. Bombardment recommences and it was led across the Sierra Nevada mountains while remaining under heavy bombardment. 2845 was finally contained on the 15th of January 2012 using the initial containment procedures and Site 100 was built around 2845 to properly contain it. On February 19, 2012, 2845 officially declared contained. 2845's containment is a little complicated compared to other SCPs. The use of outsourced containment resources and consultants has been authorized for the containment of 2845. These consultants are never allowed to leave Site 100. If at any time an outside consultant must be removed from containment of 2845, Class A amnestics are to be applied before release. 48 trained personnel are currently assigned to active containment of 2845, split into eight teams of six, with a further 24 individuals available as replacements. Site 100 consists of nine concentric circular vans, named Ring A to Ring I. In the case of containment breach, Site 100's nuclear device is to be detonated, followed by lockdown of all Foundation facilities, and activation of Protocol 2845-XK1, strike down the moon. To contain 2845, there are six procedures to be carried out in a repeating cycle of 63 hours, 54 minutes. Each procedure is to last 39 minutes, with 10 hours between each procedure. Each procedure must be carried out by six individuals. At the beginning of each news cycle, containment procedures will be carried out in the next ring closest to the containment chamber. After receiving many complaints on the complicated containment procedure, a professor finally gave an answer on why the ritual will not be changed in any way. It cannot be cut down further, nor can it be added to. It has been set in place and now that it has begun, any deviation at all could very easily be catastrophic. It is because this is how one seals away a god, and 2845 is a god. It is not a petty local god. It is not one of the mild gods of earth or some weaker spirit that is bound by the strength of man's belief. If one thing goes awry, the entirety is lost and the deadlock is broken. Unstoppable force without an immovable object the rituals might seem to be nonsense, but they are what is divined to be the best course of action. In the first procedure, containment specialists are presented with masks of joy, sadness, anger, apathy, fear, and foolishness, and act out Ceremony Constantine A. Ceremony Constantine A is a farcical comedy of errors, an exchange of insults between the six individuals culminating in foolishness outwitting the group in a game of riddles and declaring himself king. The ceremony Constantine A ended with a game of dice. The winner of the game is irrelevant to the procedure. The second procedure involves a performance of a musical piece for flute, oboe, clarinet, French horn, timpani, and bass drum. The piece is accompanied by specific somatic and vocal components carried out by the players throughout the performance designated ceremony Perinaldo A. The performance must be live and recordings of the piece have no effect. During the third procedure, gifts are exchanged among containment specialists. Content of gifts is irrelevant to the procedure, but each gift must not exceed the price of $4.28. Each gift is accompanied by a recitation and the scattering of grain around the containment chamber. For the fourth procedure, Ceremony Castle A is recited as containment specialists bind their feet with wool and consume half liters of olive oil. They then will break apart a rock weighing at least 200 kilograms with hammers. Ceremony Castle B is recited throughout the rock breaking process. A D-class subject is brought in during the fifth procedure and a symbol will be painted on the stomach with a platinum based solution and presented with a blue cloak, crown and scepter. D-class subject is then restrained in a chair and Ceremony Cairo A is recited. 
After recitation of the ceremony Cairo A, the D-class subject is to be castrated by use of a hand sickle by a containment specialist. The testes are then to be disposed of in a bowl of salt water when ceremony Cairo B is recited. Finally, in the last procedure, Ceremony Omphalos A is to be recited before roasting of a Class D personnel. Ceremony Omphalos B is to be recited before consumption of the subject. After consumption, Ceremony Omphalos C is to be recited over the gastroliths, which are then swallowed. Vomiting is then induced, and Ceremony Omphalos D is recited, signaling the beginning of a new cycle. Below is a message from containment consultant to site director. We have, for the time being, fooled it into thinking that we have overpowered it. It does not understand that we do so falsely. For God's words have power. Ritual and belief hold greater power over a God than all the laws of science. However, it must be kept in mind that the stag could escape, right now, if it so choose. With a thought, this entire facility could turn into a puff of hydrogen. If at any point the stag thought to escape, it would and we would be powerless to stop it. However, it will not think to escape, or even to change its strategy. The idea will not even pass through its mind. It cannot comprehend the concept. It does not think in the way we think. This is an old god. It does not dabble in decisions. The ritual remains as it is. Remember to check out my new animation channel, The Rubber Talks, where I share my life story, thoughts, and opinions. Just click on the link in the description to enter the rubber's world. Before we end this video, we are proud to present these incredibly sweet pieces of fan art. A big thank you to all of you. You can now send us your fan art, and we will be more than happy to show off your best art piece in our next video. Check out our description below on how to submit. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Which SCP do you want to see in the next video and why it is interesting? Let us know in the comment below. We will draw your story and share it with the world. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Please share it to your friends if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.